Hi there, today's topic is have a couple's bucket list to prevent boredom in your relationship. Now this is something that I want to put out there for people who've been together for going on five plus years because it doesn't matter what you do to try and maintain a relationship. We get busy with things. We, we put our priorities into different perspectives, you know, throughout our relationship. And sometimes we get really lazy with how we keep our relationships alive and fresh. So I really suggest a good thing to do is to make a list of things that you would really like to accomplish. I don't mean necessarily career goals. I'm talking about fun things that you can do as a couple. So put down things that you would like to do on one side, the other person in the relationship puts down theirs. Put them all together and come to an agreement and a communication on what you want to achieve. You have things to look forward to when you do this. Plan it so that it might be an annual event. It might be every six months that you do something. I would suggest that you have at least a couple of things within the year that you achieve together. It can be something as simple as, you know, renting bikes and going up, Napa, you know, riding around the wine countries. Or you want to do something a little crazy or maybe tandem skydiving. But make sure that each of you are on board with trying this thing on the bucket list. It's really important that your partner isn't fearful of doing something. They might be a little nervous about it, but that's okay because that gets you out of your comfort zone and puts you into sort of really fun things that you can talk about forever together. You've got pictures, you've got memories. These things keep your relationship alive because you're not only doing stuff together, you're actually having fun and stepping out of that little routine, repetitive box that we all get put in in our relationships. Now, I know that it sounds kind of well, you know, this is just what happens in a relationship. It just kind of goes and changes into sort of more routine. But it doesn't have to be routine all the time. If you have things to look forward to with your partner, it puts a spring in your step. It puts some life back into your partnership. It's like having, you know, a date night here and there. It sort of gets you going into having fun. People forget how to f have fun in their relationships. And that's what I'm noticing with a lot of my clients that is becoming sort of a common conversation that they're not putting each other into that sort of, you know, romantic or fun filled area that they did in the first couple of years of their relationship. And it's very easy for that to happen. We all do it, but you don't have to. So I really suggest that you make a list of things you want to do. They make a list, you put them together you know, and just sort of compromise on it and have some goals, some fun goals that you do together as a couple. I know this will help your relationship. I've seen it. I do it myself. And it's a great, great thing to have because you make your relationship a priority. You're not putting it on the back burner so that it becomes stale and stagnant. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel. I need some more subscribers. Thank you for all of those who have just subscribed recently. I really appreciate you coming and visiting my channel. Please leave your comments below the video and like it. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.